welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. Today we are doing our Freddy Mix of Media um, painting or, you know, mixed media journal. And as I've said, this is a Art Street mixed media book. You can pick these up at, for three bucks at Walmart. They pretty good quality. I mean, between the Canton mixed media and this one, I can't tell a whole difference, a whole lot, if any. <coughs> I've got my rinse water and my fresh water, and I picked these up at Dollar Tree, and they just little, and they these is my travel ones, but they just little got little screw lids on them. Now, usually if I'm out in the craft room, I'm using something like this. And that's nasty. That's why I'm not using it. And today we are going to do a prayer in watercolors. And I'm using my pretty excellent pa watercolor set for this uh, to talk, this deal, this painting. And I'm going to use just a black gel pen when I get done. I have already dried it off on my paper and taped my edges. And while I take my edges on my mixed media notebooks, my watercolor notebooks, if they, um, Spiro, it's because I don't want to, my watercolors, uh, get on my other pages. And this way it keeps clean sheets. And it gives me a nice white border. And, um, today... I mean, um, I know I've missed the last two Fridays. I ain't been doing good the last couple weeks. I had my good days and I had my bad days. And I just never know. And for the ones that's wondering, I've got something that is called the pots. And if you don't understand it, look it up on YouTube. There's all kinds of videos on it. And I have dizzy spells that passing out and just don't feel good. And you cannot... You don't know how to describe it because you don't know how to describe it. So, with that being said, here we go. And, first of all, I'm going to use, and I got my paper towel. I am going to use paint gray and, uh, to do my shadows. And I'm just going to do it very lightly. Well, I say it lightly. We know how that goes. Y'all been following me at any time with watercolors. And I don't say I know what I'm doing because I don't. I'm learning and I hope y'all learn this with me. And we'll might make a make something good one of these days. <laughs> and this dries really fast, folks, on this paper. So you have to be Moving pretty good. Now, since I have discovered these, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm a cheapskate when it comes to supplies. Even though some of my family may not believe that. Um, I have found that I really enjoy the Master Touch from Hobby Lobby. The mixed media pads, they are more like watercolor paper. Would y'all like to see that one? We might do that one next. Or that one or that one. I mean, I play in these. I mean, this is just last month's watercolors. So, but that is more like watercolor paper and I, I enjoy it. Okay, we are going to use... <laughs> yellow green and this may be lime green use what you have it's a yellow green and I am going to rinse that brush off and I'm going to wet my paper I'm going to use my pickle brush because it's getting more paper wet this down pretty good and I guess I need to use it and I might have to tilt it to make sure I see what I'm doing. Um, yes, I'm rambling tonight. 
on this morning. It's night. It's like what, two o'clock in the morning. Well, I guess it's morning. I just can't can't sleep. And I took a nap. And if y'all wondering what I'm doing, I'm getting to make sure it's all wet before I start doing anything else. Okay. Now I'm just going. This is a number 18. I cut the ends off to put it in my to go pouch. I was going to get another set and never did. I will. Because these is my my go to brushes. I love these things. And everybody has their own pre uh, preference on paper, brushes. You know, what I like, somebody else may not like. The brushes I like is a Fine Touch and a Fine Touch. From Hobby Lobby, you can get like a, I think it's 10 set of these for less than 10 bucks. But they, I mean, they seem to be good brushes. Okay, I'm going to pause it and dry this, and then be right back. Okay, I'm back, and now I'm going to take my 18, dip it in fresh water, and get some Zap Green. And this is just kind of layering to have different shades on my pair. And I'm just going to go in just so lightly. And we'll be drying it again. I mean, usually what I do is have two or three paintings going at once. And just switch back and forth. That's sometimes why they don't get done like they need to be. And I'm just kind of doing a dry brush through right through here. I mean, just to give it some texture. And I'm going to take the heat gun. And you can tell my heat gun is used for everything in the book. And dry this again. I mean, it dries pretty quick on this paper anyways. Like I said, it ain't the best paper. I mean, I used to think it was the world's greatest. When I first started out a few months ago, but I have found out that I really like the Master Touch, and it's like fifty for the same size. It's like fifty cents more. It's just not as easy to get to because you have to go to a Hobby Lobby to get it or order it online. If you like I am, my husband tries to keep me out of Hobby Lobby. And like I said, I'm just trying to make values. I messed up. I got outside my line. And I'm just going. This don't do as good as it needs to. I promise y'all. And now I'm taking a uh, number eight, and I'm dipping it into, let's see, font and font. Yeah. But I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it to make it the color I want. And this is your preference. I mean, you can do this any way you want to. You don't have to do it the way I do it. I like to layer my corners in. Because it gives it more, more realistic look. And yes, the dogs is out here with me. And if anybody's wondering, Tootsie is pregnant. 
We are expecting puppies at any time. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to dry that. Now I'm going back in and I'm just going to put my dots for my prayer. And I'm going to just kind of make this brownish. Make it look more like a prayer. And I'm just doing this. I don't have even a prayer to look at. I don't even have one pulled up on my phone. I'm just swinging this tonight or this morning. I went to bed, went to sleep too early, and then got back up. Does anybody else do that, or is it just me? Okay. Okay, I forgot one little detail. I forgot to put the stem, the end of the. Just. Okay. Now this is something new, and you don't have to do this. This is up to you. But I want to make splitters on my deal. So what I done was I cut the prayer out and this may not work. This is a trial. If anybody knows me knows I'm going to play. And I'm gonna use the blue the Payne's gray that we mixed up was using for this. And I'm just going to splat it. And I'm probably gonna splat myself and everything else in here. And then I'm going to take the um, yellow green. I'm going to add more to it. But y'all see why I covered that? Because I didn't want it covered. I think I'm going to take some yellow. And do the same. Now y'all know I'm a scrapbook or card maker more than I am a watercolorist. Okay, that's dry. I'm going to move my paints out of my way. If I want. Because I'm going back in. With, I'm just using a cheap Dollar Tree um, gel pen. I think you get two for a buck, or maybe it was three for a buck. I'm thinking it was two for a buck. And some of my splatters did get on it, but I'm I'm cool with that. I just didn't want it covered in the splinters. I 
and this pen is not waterproof so if your paint is not dry it will run just so y'all know and then I'm signing it Angie 1119 and then I'm pulling the tape off and we have another Friday Mixed Media and hopefully this will upload this is Friday morning at 2 o'clock hopefully it will upload really quickly I'm not, don't hold your breath but anyways we have our mixed media and why it's mixed media is because we used ink and watercolors on this I hope y'all have a blast blast Friday see, we'll see y'all next week for mixed media Friday and hopefully I can get some more videos film in between if y'all have not subscribed subscribe give us thumbs up comment below visit us on Facebook Instagram snapchat um, Pinterest um, face um, Twitter anyways we own all the social media have a blessed day subscribe don't forget to subscribe we love y'all bye